no way. I didn't know if I was going to be able to make it. Oh, <gasps> yes. What is it? A strange relic. <gasps> Look at that. It's an Easter egg. It's Halliday's Easter egg. Except instead of being crystal, it is gold. Ho <laughs> ho. With strange writing on it. And with finding that amazing treasure, I'd like to welcome you to Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. This is amazing. Sam and I are just chilling here on this super lush, gorgeous looking tropical island. We just found the lair of the pirate captains. And I'm going to try and navigate my way back if possible. Oh, you know what? It looks like I can just... Wait, carefully, Nate. Carefully. One wrong move and you'll break your neck. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, climb up, man. Watch out for all that slippery lichen. I don't want you falling to your death. That was sweet. So I originally came over here and just crawled up on those footholds. Takes you up to a higher point. I thought there might be some treasure, but there wasn't. But luckily for us, swung across and bingo. Bingo, Jerankal. Okay. Well, back over here. If you recall from the last video, we just discovered this area with all these ginormous statues of all the pirate captains. Sweet. So that's kind of like our first real progress since trying to look here. Time for some butt sliding. Come on, Nate. I want to get a good view of what's down here. Looks like there's lots of tunnels and corridors. All sorts of stuff. And there's another swinging point right there. <gasps> no way. I see. Can I? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, Nate. I'm sorry. Gosh. <laughs> I'm not being too gentle to our man, Nate. Oh, yeah, treasure. Yes. All right, what do we have here? A Hamsa mythical goose. That is rad. It's Mr. Ping. He's like throwing up water. That is nuts. But I love it. All right, I got to find a way to get back up there somehow. You doing okay? Yeah. Piece of cake. Alright, I guess we're just kind of dropping down. I thought maybe we were supposed to swing over to one of those, but... Alright, we're on the ground floor. Time to investigate. Wow, what is all this? Whoa, check it out! My Tomb Raider senses tingling. That's a cool... I don't know, stone carving mural of a giant ship fight? They're totally duking it out. Ooh. Oh, what? That's nuts. There's probably an alligator in there. Oh, look at this. This is rad. Sam, check out this diorama. Uh, that looks like a city street. I think they actually built all this stuff. With these guys, I don't know anymore. I want to pick it up. It's really well made. Oh, uh, yeah, it's probably like solid gold. Really? That's as much as I can rotate it? Okay. Kind of lame. Alright, I guess we'll come over and see if we can examine some of these documents. Or not. That's cool, too. Alright, let's look at this map. Sam, look. Hey. Uh, maybe they oh, were it's a planning a massive theme park? Architectural Pirate schematic. <laughs> That's cool. All right, let's go. Let's go look at. Oh, Sam, you're in my way, bro. All right, let's check out this one. Blueprints. Well, brown prints. True that. Oh, Sam, you you did it again. Except this time he's not moving, so I'm gonna have to go around this way. Ooh, what is this? Sam, check it out. Avery and two holding court over their captains. Looks like they're writing their code of conduct. Heck yeah. Pirate Bill of Rights. 
and they had to sign their name in blood. It's Avery's ship. <laughs> the fancy. Yeah, attacking the guns away. That's how it all started. That is sweet. That totally reminds me of Assassin's Creed 4. Alright, let's look at the final one here. The Founders. That's cool. If you remember back when we were in that tomb with Sully, we were trying to solve all of the little rotating puzzles that had all these pirate sigils. So that's kind of cool to see them all back here again. Look, pirate captain sigils all gathered around Avery. Nathan, this is, this is the story of the founding of Libertalia. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. No, I think we're good. I think that's everything there. I'm going to hop in this sweet little... I don't know. I'm just going to call it my, like, meditation pool. <laughs> All right. That's apparently too tall to jump up, but we've got this convenient little stone here. Ooh, before I examine that, I want to see what we've got going on here. I think this is just... Okay, yeah, so this is all that inner sanctum area. And it all just kind of interconnects, which is super cool. All right, let's examine. Lots of supplies in here. Tools, seeds, uh, provisions, probably past their sell-by date. Yeah, more than likely, I'd so say. How was this place? <gasps> Ooh, I can start a dialogue. What do you have to say, big bro? Staging ground of some kind. Oh my god, it's where they planned Libertalia. Question still stands, did they actually go through with it? I've, I mean, they must have. Look at all this. You, you don't commit your entire life to something just to walk away from it at the end. Yeah, well, things don't always go as planned. True that. Such as Sam spending the last 15 years of his life in prison. I don't think they planned on that. Ooh, check this out. <gasps> no way. There's Avery's sigil. One of his sigils. I know that he has several from what they were saying earlier. All right, a big scary hooded figure. That's fairly ominous. Doesn't really look like there's anything to do. Oh, oh. <gasps> it's a secret entrance. Or something. No, 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 no. One way or another, we're getting in there. Don't strain Split yourself, together, bro. You're right? gonna bring, okay. blow out your O-ring, for real. Okay, let's do this. Oh, come on, this is heavy. Oh. Just think about all the treasure. <laughs> yeah, mostly just think just about, think about the treasure. And how much money you'll be able to have for back Shit. surgery. Oh. Whoa. It looks like we got ourselves another trial. It sure looks like it. We have not had a trial for some time, and it looks like this place is totally littered with dust motes. Spores. They're spores. <laughs> From The Last of Us. I'm getting infected. Alright, I'm just taking a quick little jaunty tour around this place. Ooh. I wonder if I could climb that. Oh. Balder dash. You know, I'm not even entirely sure that I wanted to come in here just yet. I had so many more things to explore. At least I felt like there was. I had no idea that this would be like a one-way journey in here. Oh, well. Let's go into the inner circle. Oh, check this out. This is trippy. Oh, the captain's wheel. Let's see what these do. Oh! Okay. So ah, they turn the symbols. That'll help. Interesting. I I think this puzzle is going to take me a bit of time because. Quite frankly, I have no idea what we're supposed to be doing. I guess, I mean, obviously just match up the sigils, but there's a heck of a lot of things going on here. So once I figure it out, I will jump back and we'll have a look at it together.
Okay, I think I've got the basic idea down. So, the light shining on the orb, as you can see, it's like that M. And then, the left joystick moves, so just like that. Bam. And that allows you to kind of see. And then, over on this ball, the little locking mechanism is free. So, if you hit square to rotate, that's what's going to rotate. So... I'm going to get that one all lined up. As you can see, those two symbols match. So I'm going to try bringing it over. And at least that one matches. All right, I'm going to try something. So far, I haven't been able to get the device to do anything. But as you can see, I'm curious about the way that the light is shining on this one. As you can see, the left half is dark. The right half is light. And I don't think it's just a coincidence that you can rotate the orbs to look like this. So I've got it set up so the dark is on the left, the light is on the right. And I've got that little M pattern on the other ball. So I'm going to see if this works. There we oh, go. sweet. What is that? Oh, look. Statues. Pirate captains. There's Bonnie uh, Baldridge. Oh, Basra. I can't remember that guy's name. Very cool. So who was this Al Basra character? Uh, he was a muggle. One of the soldiers on the guns way. What's he doing teaming up with Avery? Stories have it he was taken to be executed. Then he got freed during the battle and blew up the guns way's gunpowder cache. Oh, so grateful Avery brought him along? Exactly. What about that other guy? Heard he started as a nobody. Became a fearsome swordsman. I'm sure they were all pretty fearsome swordsmen once you got right down to it. Their battle tactics were probably pretty nuts. Alright, as you can see, we are now working on the middle section. So we are on two out of three ring levels. And I'm curious to see what happens with these statues. I mean, there's obviously got to be something going on. But I'm going to kind of start getting this one figured out. It looks like you just have to rotate the spheres with the little striations on them to match the reflections just like before. So I'm going to start getting on that and then I will cut ahead and we'll have a look at it before the puzzle solved. All right, I think I've got it situated. This one was slightly trickier because as you can see in the middle, there is a little turning mechanism there and a turning mechanism right there. And the way that these two orbs are spaced, once you bring them over, they are both there. So I actually kept them right there and spun it until the right one matched up. And then I just spun it clear over to pretty much where they are and got the left one dialed in. So this one, instead of matching like the patterns, I mean, you're still matching the patterns. They're just a little different. They have these lines. So that one just has a single. This one has a triple. Oh no, I'm slightly off. So, I'm gonna have to move over here. Sam, you're in the way, again. All right, let's see how that looks. It's kind of hard to tell, it's at an odd angle. There we go. Got it. Here we go again. Who we got? Let's see. Joseph Farrell, William Mays, Tariq Ben Malik, and... Eight out of 12. Very cool. The circle is almost complete. And I've got to say, I can't leave this little mechanism, the captain wheel. But once I do, I definitely want to go over and check those out if I can, because they look pretty sweet. All right, we are on the third and final rotation. Same thing just like before, I'm guessing. Hey, look. On the ringer, oh, that's gonna make it tricky. I see. Same as us. Coming to where the action is. All right. So what I can tell so far, it looks like you're going to kind of have to observe how it spins. Like you obviously, according to that light source there. The little circle needs to be facing up. Okay. 
but track how far off they are when they're in the light. Okay, so we're gonna have to spin it like right there. No one more crank actually. There we go. You just kind of have to estimate how many rotations it moves automatically on its own and just compensate for it. Really not that tricky. So that one's good to go. However... Alright, what do we have going on here? That's an odd... Okay, so the arrow... <laughs> right on. Good. Okay, here we go. Time to place it. Sweet. <laughs> and the last of our crew. Richard Watt, Edward England, and Thomas. Sam, look, that's where oh, we're going. Oh, no way. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. That's only 11 pirates. We're missing our star pirate. Uh huh. It's kind of weird. That is weird. I wonder if we have to activate something before we go. Maybe it's booby trapped. All right, that's rad. This is so cool. I think, in my opinion, I like this dude the best over here. He reminds me of Captain Hook. I said that before. And this dude totally looks like a traditional pirate. He kind of reminds me of Captain Barbosa from Pirates of the Caribbean. And I'm gonna say for a female pirate captain, she looks pretty hardcore. All right, well, doesn't look like there's anything to do besides to journey up the stairs and check out what's over here. Oh, let's see. It's a secret lever. Look at this sun. Look at the detail on these tiles. Wow. And the marble. I just can't get over the detail in this game. It is quite an accomplishment. Oh. Now. Right on. We're on an elevator ride. We got the best seat in the house. Check this out. Shit. There's your missing Avery statue. Wow. Of course he'd save the biggest and best for himself. You know, I'm starting to get the feeling that our friend was a bit of a narcissist. You think? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go see what he's got in store for us. <laughs> 